Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like. Comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen just in case. Probably won't need it. Most likely won't. You know, we just chilling. Uh, Twitch.com is where you can catch any of the live streams, man. Patreon, we post Monday through Friday. Oh, yeah, we post the weekends too because Premier League highlights. Fully extended highlights. Man, y'all go tap in with me, man. Tap in. This is drinking in Manchester's most run downtown. Honest Places. I really like Honest Places content. I, I, I really do. He seemed like a good guy. Like, I go have a drink with bro, man. <laughs> no cap, man. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All right. My bad, I don't know if it even, you know. Ah! Well, good afternoon from Ashton in Manchester. Well, Greater Manchester, tame side. Still got the 0161 dialing code, so technically it's Manchester. Where I used to come here as a kid and go to a place called the Witchwood. Like 18, you should chuck up all the time, and that's the only place you should come. Straight here, straight out. I spoke to someone recently, he's from Ashton. And Man, what happened, bro? Man United versus, versus Liverpool, man. I, you never responded to my bet. <laughs> It's alright though, much love brother. They said it's hanging, it's like it hasn't been done up in like 15 years. Loaded boarded up pubs, stuff like that. The centre's just horrible, looks like something from the 60s. So, gonna walk around, chat to some folk, have a look around the centre of it. And, uh, and yeah, get into some pubs, so see what's kicking off. And apparently this uh, 60s style, never done up Ashton, eh? So, let's go. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty boarded up over here though. No fresh paint on no building yet. Oh, okay, here we go. Fresh paint. Kiosk, gold metal traditional. Chicken barbecue. Listen, I didn't heard a lot of people from the UK tell me that there is no good barbecue, like real barbecue. And then I watched Jolly and they was eating that Memphis barbecue boy like they ain't never ever had no good food in their life. Oh, they was tearing that down. Huh? Ah, look at this big uh, the market open air market here, which ain't too bad. Windy. Again, it's just generic clothes and stuff like that. But uh, at least it's got it. A lot of towns have uh, sh shut up shop with stuff like this. I mean, it is quite quiet. Maybe more uh, more shops are setting up, but uh, it's all right at the minute. And they selling bro uniform all around this. Morning. What's it like, sort of like this area anyway, just in general? Do you live around there? Yeah. What's it like? Well, I'm all over the country. Help places you go, and I drink in them. Yeah. You only go East uh, Eastbourne. Eastbourne. Now that is. Is it? Yeah, that is a place. Of, Cause I go drinking down at Eastbourne as well. I Skegness. Skegness. That's I'll all tell right. You what, That's it, all right. So, when I watched it, cause I've never worked there in my life. When I watched it, and I saw it on there. I went. That looks alright. Yeah. Compared to like Blackpool, which same sort of setup, Blackpool is just horrible. Blackpool. Yeah. This is alright for a couple of days. You can't go for a week. But you know. I feel like Blackpool has a lot of potential. <laughs> Somebody just need to go dump some money in it, like, but they got some potential. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's not actually so what? So rough pub around there? Can't recommend one. Uh, yeah. If you, so if you follow it all, in fact, you can just keep walking all the way up and then you come to a dead end. Right. But there is a pub up there and that's pretty rough. Or, just go to this next junction in the corner. 
turn right, turn left, there's one on the corner, that's where all the winos were sitting there first thing in the morning. Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's the buildings mainly that make it look a bit ropey around here. Just need a bit of liquor paint on them and stuff like that. Paint peeling. I said it, that's exactly what I just said. I said there's no fresh paint on any of the buildings over here. I'm going to edit that out. The mic. I'm going to edit that mic mute out. But it's about 50% shops open, like say 50% shut. It's about one o'clock now to be fair, so they should be open, but keep mooching about. Uh, get that pub that a guy said. Said Forrester, yeah, there's a pub here. Angel Hotel, this looks half decent. Hey, this got to be shut down. It's a hotel. Yeah. Well, that's shut, isn't it? Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, so that just no says way. what I've been uh, going on about about these buildings. So we'll get a, sort of a bit of a panorama view of it. It'd be a good spot for a club. Yeah, there's a lot of pubs shut around here, but well, uh, apparently there's a few open, so let's crack on, eh? Brother, this is what, like, this is really looking like the west side of Chicago, for real. Not all of it, but certain parts of the west side of Chicago. It's down bad. It's got some uh, random alley here that's open. Ain't no way I would walk through there. <laughs> If I was doing a tour in Chicago and, you was, and I see this alleyway and I went in the neighborhood, then I'm, I, first of all, I'm just not going down this. A bit of fly this tipping. I don't know what's going on here. To the way it leads to. Oh, it's open on the other side, though, so you're good. The eyes. I think it's just the back of people's houses here, and obviously, because they got this space here. Let's chuck some stuff out without getting done. Yeah, we need to get to this pub, don't we, at some point. It's another Violence. boozer shot there, old sort of Victorian style building. So don't nobody go out, don't nobody pop outside over here? Like every bar and everything is closed. Hey. This is what the guy said, Feathers. Probably get in there. This is, that looked like the Feeters. The Fiaters. But yeah, just look at these buildings, man. It's a bit annoying because they're nice, quite nice buildings, to be fair. Top end of our here. There's your feathers. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll get in there at some point. That looks decent, that. But yeah, another building there that could have just uh, been done up a bit. Is what it is. That's another That could have just uh, been done up a bit. Is what it is. Is this in use, the, the top floors? Of this building? No. Have I seen this side of Manchester? Probably. Well, the reason this town suffers a bit is you've got a tram line literally about 10 15 minutes from here that goes straight into Manchester. I think it gets like Altrincham and stuff like that. So if you live here and you want a couple of shandies, you just get on there 100%. Uh, it might be a bit more expensive or something, but at least. Uh, it's a bit nice, more, a bit more upmarket, and you've got more selection to choose from. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. There's a train, you just pop on the train and go have a lit night in the city center or something. Away from this, from the main part of Manchester. Alright, it's time to check out this Ladysmith shopping center sort of area. b and your typical heron foods in uh, joints like this. Right in front of me, so uh, let's get there, eh? Decent. Okay, the shops are right, open. Go. There's people. Piece, just as I said. Okay. 
to be honest, it's just like any other place in the UK town on the outskirts. You know, shops that you just get everywhere. Got a CX though, might get a cheap PS5 game or something like that. But yeah, it's that right, average. What's that? Entertainment? Anytime. Oh, y'all got Anytime Fitness there. They got these in Florida, Anytime Fitness. I seen one. I'm a LA Fitness member, but you know, I seen it. Yeah. It's getting here. Need toilet anyway before I start cracking on a bit more. So, getting there. See what's, uh, see what's kicking off in the, the Bo Guest Day. I couldn't do it, man. I need to live like directly in the middle of the city, like, or a little bit off to the side. Like, I could, like, there's not enough people around. Like, I just need a lot of people. I don't know. It's, right, maybe outside. it's just a city person in me. Like, I there, isn't it? It starts to rain now, so yeah, let's do it. Like popping outside. Looks sure. a bit dead though. A little bit beyond it. Let me put the 1080p. No, I need. Okay. Yes. Hi, Hi, I'm can I grab a Guinness, please? Guinness? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, cheers. You know, I went to a bar in Florida and, and uh, I got a Guinness. And it's like, she didn't even give me the Guinness. Like, she didn't give me the Guinness. She didn't trust that I would let it settle. First of all, I... I'm the most British man in America that is not born in Britain. You know what I'm saying? So don't disrespect me like that. Like, I know what I'm doing. I know I got to let it settle. Well, now I know, but you know. My man is a professional. He opening doors and walking and keeping that steady, that drink. Well, you know, I said before, get the tram and go to Manchester, you might pay in a bit more. 325 this. It's got logo in the fold. Oh, look at it. Bit of a dome on that as well. Let that settle. It's going to be at least 7.5 out of 10. That is your outside area, anyway. Outside here, because I put this on, because it's cold this morning and now I'm sweating. But I've got nothing underneath it. It is what it is. There we go. Taste test, eh? Is it good? About, about 7 out of 10, actually. Maybe 7. Point two, five, maybe. What three pound twenty-five? Does he have a TikTok? Curious. Can't complain with that, can you? Banging. It's not that many pubs around here. They used to come here years ago. Not really. A lot of them are shut down. There used to be a lot of nightclubs and stuff, but all of them are shut down now. So, is there any nightclubs around here? What do people do for? Stanley Bridge, isn't it? It's closer. Oh yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. yeah. Just get the tram up there. Is it a train? Everyone just gets taxes. So about 10 minutes or something? Yeah, five, oh, ten yeah, minutes. Oh, yeah, I so. The star, you just have to watch yourself in. The star? Yeah. It's Why is that? Bad. It's on the same road as Lenny's, just at the other end of it on the corner. What's up with that? It's just very, it's very dodgy. A lot of people get spiked in there and... I like dodgy bars, but that seems a bit extreme. It is, it's a bit extreme. What'll it be like now at this time? This time it'd be all right, right. but it's open till like two in the morning there. Ah, fair enough. And then you've got the Witchwood as well, but that only opens at afternoon, so that opens to four yeah. in the morning. I've been there plenty, I've chucked up there plenty of times. Witchwood. To the Witchwood, about ten years ago. Is yeah. that still going then, properly, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just not open till late afternoon. It's because they have bounces on from like four o'clock at night. Oh, did it? From like, four? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it then. can get a bit rough. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. What's the area yeah, like in general? garden at the back and everyone just smokes yeah. weed and does drugs and everything in the back beer garden. Does so anyone care or? No. Look at that. What's <laughs> the area like in general around here? It's generally alright. It's more quite more busy on a weekend. Yeah, obviously, it's, yeah. We're an old man's pub really. Yeah, yeah. Until it comes to like five o'clock when we have entertainment on and it gets busier. Right, okay, got you. Yeah. It's ah. quiet from, te from 10 to 4 or 5 o'clock when everyone starts coming in. Right. Till 10 a.m. What time do bars open? Oh, wait a minute. Let's stop. Let's rewind. What time do bars open out there? 10 a.m.? 
I, I feel like when I was in Chicago, like bars did not open until like noon, like twelve o'clock. We have the have the business of the buses, the trains, and everything. Oh, of course, Packers yeah. They all come in. Oh, got you. All right. Well, that was a nice little boozer. The bow guest, not too bad. Speaks to the I don't know if it's landlady or somebody who works there. Says that um, there's like a pub watch thing around there where they all uh, look after each other. So if someone's kicking off another boozer, go on like a bit of a chat. So uh, you know when someone comes in, tries to get to another boozer where it's going to kick off again. You just say see you later to them. So anyway, going to go to another pub down here. It's meant to be like a saloon sort of style bar. Have them all walk about. Uh, apparently it's just as cheap as that one, 325. Yeah, I'm trying to get to know Manchester a little bit better, man. I kind of like Manchester, man. I, I ain't even gonna lie. I Guinness was 7.25 out of 10. And uh, yeah, see what's, uh, see what's happening in that one. So let's crack on, eh? Yeah, this is a nightclub I was on about. Played every metal on a Saturday. Where it's chucked up. Used to always go into this car park. Pew down there. Chuck up. Oh well, yeah, Witchwood. Absolutely banging this joint. Yeah, it used to be a smoking no, area out here or something. There's a heavy metal club I used to go to in uh, Chicago. Not that I I, I, like, I don't enjoy heavy metal music, but for some reason it used to be bussing. It was popping. Well, and them gothic girls in there, I was in there like, if I would. I, mean, I was trying to rock out with one, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever I need to be. Somewhere where we used to always chill. There you Shame. go, Witchwood. Still open? It's still open or no? Oh well, don't look like Fat Lenny's is open to be fair. Yeah, Maybe there's an uh, entrance around the side, let's have a look. Let's give it a go. Nah, it's not open that, but it is what it is. Let's crack on to the next one. There's one here. It's having. Don't know whether to get in there, to be fair. Oh, I'll give that a miss. Because they haven't really walked much. Uh, we'll get to the... A lot of music. The star where she said uh, people just pretty much openly uh, do gear, you know, outside and stuff like that. Oh, this yeah. is sketches pub where you, apparently you can get spikes and stuff like that, so it's right in front of us. The star I said it'd be all right. This there's like 12 bars in, in a three block radius. Time, so let's give it a go. Nothing's kicking off oh. in there this time, surely. Star. There you go. Sky TV pool there. car park at rear. Guinness is good in there, mate. Is it alright? Guinness is good. How much is it, mate? Three quid a pint. Oh, Jesus, that's cheap, isn't it? Yeah, no worries. Where's your order around here or anywhere? Or? Just a in the back, mate. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll wait, mate. I'll wait, mate. Nice one. It's a cool bar though, like I noticed a lot of bars out there, they got like live music. Like an area where you can set up for live music. Out here like, especially in Chicago, it, it wasn't really like that. Thank you very much. Cheers. I ain't gonna lie, the last two bartenders looked kind of nice. <laughs> hey, I, hey, see this is what I expect when you go to Manchester, nice looking women. Be a good pour, pint. Yeah, so anyway, outside area, no one really wants to talk to me. Everyone just chilled it, sort of like a pub where they keep themselves themselves. But uh, Guinness was uh, wasn't settled at all, pulled straight to the top about four out of ten, but three quid for that one. So that's uh, yeah, 
the owner settled for looks instead of a good pour. But hey. You always can always complain, no matter how much the price is. Well, I'm not gonna. But yeah, three quid. Not too bad. Outside there is alright. We're banging here in the summer. I remember he went to the last video I watched. He was somewhere and he uh, he rated it like a nine out of a ten. That Guinness and I need to go. Oh, it was in Ireland. No, no, no. Yeah, it was. Probably should have gone to another pub to be fair. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Does he does he ever go out at night time? Like 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 uh afternoon? <coughs> no, like when it's kinda getting dark. Yeah, I couldn't film much inside. Um because I got music license and stuff like that. They play music so I get copyrighted, but uh, that's why I'm outside and it's raining. But it's what it is. So yeah, we got so a yeah. yeah. Forcing this Guinness down. To be fair, it's getting like we went from like a four to like a two. It's like a three now. I know I've had bad Guinness then, because I like I just don't like I've had some that are actually good, but like most of them here be disgusting. That's yeah, not the greatest. Well, there you go, the star. Um, yeah, a bit early. It's about two o'clock. A lot of old boys in there just uh, oh, reading two. books and stuff like that. Music license inside, so I couldn't really film much in there. Three quid a pint. It did taste pretty disgusting, to be fair. Wasn't left to settle, but it's what it is. Um, yeah, I can't leave it in that. I'm going to do one more. I'll get into one more pub. I think she was like at the end of her barrel of Guinness or something. Like, it was crazy. Uh, don't know where it's going to be. Have a bit more mooch around. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try and find like a bit of a hidden gem around here. I'll just keep walking, I'm not going to ask anyone. Just going to uh, see what's happening down here. Just gonna, not going to ask anyone, yeah. I'm just going to um, just going to turn up and see if uh, see if it looks half decent from the outside. So let's, uh, let's get to another boozer, eh? Buggies parked up. All right, we're getting in here. Here's what it is. I've walked about. This looks like the best of the bunch. So, yeah, see us booting off at uh, Theatre Tavern, eh? I don't know. The outside looks good too. There's a fresh coat of paint. The little tiles is sh shined up. Not all that much, to be fair. Pretty decent in here, I can't even hold you back, you know what I'm saying? It looks good. Security camera right up. <laughs> yeah. What you get to drink this time? That don't look like a Guinness. There you go, two pound twenty. Uh, I think I've had this before. I'm sure I have. Let's give it a taste test, don't we? So there you go. Two pound twenty. You can't argue with that. Cheap as spins. You're never gonna get that here. I'll be drinking the Guinnesses, and they be at least eight, nine dollars. See on WhatsApp, didn't I? Is it good? It's alright, right? About three and a half percent or something. Alright, right. I'll send it in now, yeah. Drinkable oh, anyway, but again, I can't film inside because uh, of music, music, music yeah. license stuff like that. Uh, Been battered today with music license, but 220. Yeah. Tap was tight. Now, we do got to take into account he is on the outskirts of Manchester, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> like, this is not anywhere specific that you know that where I would live, but like, it's nice. It's, it's home to who it's home to. Five out of ten. Is the outside area anyway. So for the bathroom, go back on. Sink in upstairs. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, right. Now we know it's in congratulations. Uh, the music license and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. It's all right in there. Three quid a pint or something like that. 
be a bit less, sorry, 220 or something actually. I was thinking the last one. But yeah, that, that's Ashton anyway. I spoke to uh, a few people. A lot of people said booze is a shutdown around here. A lot of people, if they want to go for a half decent night out, they go to um, Staley Bridge, which is about Staley Vegas. I've never been. I live fairly close, still never been. Apparently, uh, that's where people go, like two o'clock in the morning, stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, the centre, it's got a lot of, um, mainly it's the buildings that are pretty derelict and not been up. Been up, sorry, not done up. But, uh, Somebody doing some work on the building up there. But, uh, beer's going to me, head. I forgot even what beer it was, to be fair now. I've only had three. But, um, but yeah, like I say, a lot of the boozers said to look after each other around here, text each other, who are they? Text each other, saying stuff like uh, if anyone dodgy comes in or anyone's kicking off, they text someone else about them kicking off so they can get uh, kicked out of the pub. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not too bad to be fair. But like I say, it's cheap. I feel like I need to go to the UK and open up a bar or pub. But the beers, it's TLO pub. Elf. Pub lit one. They're, uh, they're average, they're half, we'll half decent. So if you want a half decent beer or half decent night out, this is probably why it's probably suffering so much because you've got a tram line here that can take you to anywhere in the centre of Manchester, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, that's, a lot of that's definitely the reason. Like, I, I wouldn't even waste time putting up a pub out here. Like in this, because there's a there's a there's a train that'll take you to this middle of Manchester, like bus rooms, and Manchester be bussing, like popping, like it is lit. <laughs> Round day in Ashton, but yeah, that's Ashton anyway. It was only a little uh, cheeky video, just to. Uh... Man, I appreciate you for taking me to Ashton, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, leave a like, comment, 